Good morning, my name is Brett Black, and the title of my project is Did Puff the Magic Dragon Really Live by the Sea? I was inspired to do this project because the Peter Paul and Mary song titled Puff the Magic Dragon has the line Puff the Magic Dragon Live by the Sea. My question is, did he? So I decided to research the song a bit, and I realized that Puff the Magic Dragon was a figure who came to national attention in 1963. See, this guy is kind of like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. But he's cooler because he's a dragon, not a sea monster, any Thendrothal, or anything boring like that. The song has the exact lines, Puff the Magic Dragon Lived by the Sea, and Frolicked in the Autumn Mist in a land called Hanalei. Now my question is, where is Hanalei? And did it have beaches? Because if Hanalei is some random landlocked nation in the middle of the Soviet Union, then we're probably not going to have Puff living by the sea. I looked at North America and South America and I realized that Hanalei is not there. I looked at Africa and Hanalei is not there. I looked at Eurasia and Hanalei is not there. I looked at Antarctica and I realized that there's really, we don't know much about it, there's not really any cities there. So I decided that Antarctica is Hanalei. Now this is good because Antarctica is completely surrounded by water. And therefore, it's very probable that uh, Puff kind of lived by the sea because we have the Davis Sea and the Weddell Sea and Ross Sea and a ton of other seas like that. So I conclude that Hanley does have beaches, but that still doesn't tell us did Puff the Magic Dragon live there. So I wanted to research this a bit further. To c collect my data, I first gathered materials and then listened to a lot of Peter, Paul, and Mary. I then drove to a random corner in Philly and rolled down my window and I asked passerbyers if Puff the Magic Dragon actually lived by the sea. I then analyzed results and drew conclusions. This is the first guy I interviewed. He was a pretty cool guy. He, I don't know, he said he goes to drugs or something. He told me, dude, I used to love that song. And when I said, did Puff live by the sea? He said, yes. This is the second guy I interviewed and she wasn't as cool as the first guy. She just screamed at me, stay away from my kids you creep, and threw a spoon at me. She screamed no. This is the third guy, and he was a bit weird, but he was probably the coolest of all of them. He just sort of stood there giving me a peace sign saying how much man, and when I said, did Puff Magic Dragon live by the sea? He said yes and no. Not entirely sure what he meant by that, until I did more research, which I'll get into later. Okay, so this is my data slide, and as you can see... Two people said yes, and two people said no, which leads me to just one proper conclusion. Puff the Magic Dragon both lived by the sea and didn't live by the sea at the same time. This means that Euron Strodinger wrote Puff the Magic Dragon to help support and gain attention to his Strodinger's cat model. Pretty crazy, right? Thank you for listening. Are there any questions?